Hello everyone! Welcome back! In this tutorial, we are going to build a snake game using Scratch, in an easy and step-by-step -step fashion. We will explain each and every step while developing our snake game. So, what are you waiting for? Let's Scratch! First of all, we will be needing a sprite for Snake's character. For that, select the Paint option in the Sprites area. Create a small circle. You can choose any color you want, but I like the default color. Don't forget to give it a meaningful name. I will name it my snake. We need another sprite that the snake will try to follow and eat. For demonstration purpose, I will choose an apple. You can choose whatever you like. And let me choose a suitable size for the apple. I decrease the size of the apple to 40. After performing this, we have successfully created the required sprites for our game. Let's move on to the next step, coding your sprites. We will start with the hat block. When green flag clicked. Now go to the variable block, and delete the default variable. And create three variables. One for the direction of the snake, it will come in handy while changing the direction of the snake. One for the score of the player and one for the length of the snake. Anytime your snake eats an apple, it will increase the length of the snake. Don't forget to give these variables meaningful names. Now use the set to block for the three variables that we just created, right under the hat block. Set the direction variable to up, so anytime you run your game, it will be facing and going towards the top of the screen. And set the score and length variable to zero, so the size of the snake will be small at the beginning of the game, Performing these steps will make your game behave the same way every time you run your game. Now use a forever block to make the snake stay in motion forever in the direction it is facing. Inside that forever block, we will use the if block. The condition will be if the direction variable is equal to up, change the value of y by 5. For that we will use the operator block with the direction variable in the if block condition then, we will add the change y by 5 block in the if block. Now add a second if block for the snake to move downwards. In order to do that, just copy and paste the above code. And change two things. The value of the condition from up to down. And the value of y from positive 5 to negative 5 in the change y by 5 block. Now add a third if block for the snake to move towards the right side of the screen. For that, copy and paste the above code making two small changes. First, change the condition of the if block from down to right. Then, add a change x by 5 block. Add a last if block for the snake to move towards the left side of the screen. For that, again copy and paste the above code making two small changes. First, change the condition of the if block from right to left. Then, change the value of x from positive 5 to negative 5 in the change x by 5 block. Now we need our game to understand if the player wants to change the direction of the sprite. For that we need the help of the when key is pressed block. Select when up arrow key is pressed from the drop down menu. And under the hat block, use an if block. It will come in handy when the sprite is facing downwards and the player presses up key. The direction of the sprite will not be changed. In simple words, this statement will not allow the snake to change its direction in 180 degrees. Add a set variable to block. Select the direction variable and give it the value of up. So, if a player presses up arrow key from the keyboard, the direction of the sprite will be changed if it is not facing down. We will add the same set of blocks for the down key, right key and left key. Adding these four sets of blocks will make our project understand how to change the direction of the snake if a player presses a certain key. Now click on the apple in the sprites area. It's time to code our apple. First of all, add A when green flag is clicked hat block. Under that add a motion block, go to X and Y. To appear the apple in different spots every time, we need to add the pick random block from the operator's block. 
we will make it select a random number from 240 to minus 240 for X and 180 to minus 180 for Y. Don't forget that these numbers are the dimensions of the stage. Exceeding these numbers will make your apple appear outside the stage, making the apple unable to spot. Under that we will use a forever block, and inside of the forever block, we will add the if block. The condition of the if block will be, if the apple touches the snake, then change the value of score by 1, and the value of the length variable by 0.2. For that we will use the touching sensing block and the condition of the if block. And inside the if block, we will add the change variable by block for the score and length of the snake. I will give the value of 0.2 to length variable and 1 to score variable. And we will teleport the apple to a brand new spot on the stage using the go to X and Y block. Let's run this and see the changes we have made so far. As you have noticed, the length of the snake is not increasing when it eats the apple. And the snake does not start from the center of the stage. For the starting position of the snake, we will add the go to X and Y block under the hat block and before the forever block. Keep in mind, the values of X and Y should be kept zero because the center of the stage is when X and Y are zero. And we will add a create clone of myself at the end of the forever block in the main code to increase the length of the snake every time it touches the apple. Now we have to set the clones that will be generated in the forever loop. For that add A when I start as a clone hat block, located in the control block area. After creating the clone we will wait exactly the amount of time, that is the value of the length variable that we created. And then we will delete the clones that are generated after that particular amount of time. That is all. Now run your game and see how it works now. Well that's all we have for you in this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.